We are joined now by Ann Robinson, Informs President. Now, Ann, you are just finishing up a very busy year. Let's start by talking about your efforts to bring analytics and the Informs connection to an even broader audience. Thanks, yeah, it's been a really fantastic year. What an opportunity to be able to be at the head of such an amazing organization. Um, we've spent a lot of effort this year trying to make that connection between Informs and analytics to the outside audience, and it's uh, the success has started. We've had major media outlets, both print, online, even on TV, speaking about Informs in the analytics context. Social media has been buzzing, sure. which is fantastic. And I think, you know, we spent a lot of time this year setting it up. And so my expectation is over the next coming years, we're really going to see that continue to ramp and escalate, certainly as the demand for analytics talent continues to skyrocket. Now, the Inform Certification Analytics Program has been a big priority this year. How's that going? Um, really well. So the we call it CAP, Certified Analytics Professional, officially kicked off in San Antonio earlier this year. And we now have 54 CAPs out in the market, so people who have got the designated cer designation, Certified Analytics Professional. Five people took the exam this morning, and I guess we'll wait and see how they do. Uh, yeah, this is a big opportunity. There's a lot of things happening in this space, and uh, I know people kind of said, well, why should I do this? How is this important? Um, it really helps people differentiate themselves in the market. If you really want to prove yourself beyond kind of what your analytical skill set, but show that you've really mastered the end-to-end -end analytical process, then CAP is absolutely the right thing for you. So Anne, how do people register for the exam? Well, they just go to the INFORMS website to be able to follow through and follow the, um, the online registration process. They have to actually get some validation from their employer about the fact that they've added value through analytics. So there is some uh, validation process there. And right now, you know, as we're ramping up the program, there's some pretty exciting programs out there. Uh, if you happen to get 10 or more people from your organization, you all want to take it together, they're offering a 50% discount. There's also a study guide that's come out, and we're really hoping that people will help us review it. So we're saying if somebody signs up for the exam, reviews the study guide that will offer a $100 rebate so that they'll be able to uh, you know, get a little more of a discount and it helps them and helps Informs sure. as well. Very good. There's also been a big push for continuing education about analytics to members. Now why is that important? I think we all want to kind of continue to refresh our skills and make sure we're staying on top of things. And um, continuing education is a natural fit for this. We, we actually did some interviews and asked and it came back with two big topics and that's really where we focused our initial efforts. One was around data prep, data visualization, so really a very data heavy course. And then the second was around essential skills for an analytics professional, so understanding how to frame the problem, really that end-to-end -end process, learning about change management. The first uh, iteration of these courses just started in California just last week, and enthusiasm from the attendees, the instructors came back saying this is going to be an even bigger hit for us than we anticipated, and I think uh, Next year, we're going to see that series of offerings even expand further. All right. Now, always a big priority, of course, strategic planning. As immediate past president, you're going to be chairing that committee. Now, what are you looking for as far as input, input from members? Of course, strategic planning is really important to Informs, and it's something that we want to make sure uh, we get the input from the members. So, as if there's members out there that have ideas about things that they'd like to share, they should certainly send them in either through any of their informs liaison, they're certainly welcome to contact me directly. Uh, but that's the, that, that's the point of strategic planning, is to solicit that input from the membership, as well as understand the trends that are happening externally, marry those together so that we can truly craft a direction that's in line with where our members want us to go. Because after all, informs is a membership society, and we are as strong as that base of ideas coming in to, to craft and grow the direction. Sure. Now, as president, this will be a year you will never forget. What do you want your legacy to be? Well, that's a, that's a tough question. And, you know, I don't know that I'm far enough along even in my career to be talking legacy, per se. I hope to be involved with Informs for many years still. But uh, I hope that people will, will, you know, acknowledge that I think I did my job that this year, I think that Informs has made some really incredible decisions. We've managed to implement a lot of the ideas that we've talked about, so just seeing them come to fruition this year, whether it's certification or continuing education, has been really fantastic. 
Uh, I think for me personally, the energy around analytics and seeing, creating this onboarding capability, whether it's for sort of that executive suite, learning about analytics, being excited, going to see that on their own, and the times when they haven't actually necessarily caught the momentum, Informs being there to give them a push, see what they need to see, and really come on board with this trend. It's a really amazing time to be with Informs, with an academic or practitioner role in an analytics capability. Uh, and I'm just really grateful to have been able to be such a such a big part of it. Sure, it's definitely been a big year. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank Ann you. Robinson, Informs President. Thank you very much.